That was weird as usual. My weird hello greetings. Hello, Chella, Chella, Sella, 22. MD girl for life. Ah, yes, yes. Hello. Hi, Jax. Thank you guys for joining. This is pretty exciting because actually, I, I, I don't know if it's exciting. Um, it's Friday, so happy Friday. And can you believe that February is almost over? That's insane. Okay, if you're a newcomer, today we are doing learning letters. And what that is, is me, who is Gourmet Pens, uh, also known as Aziza. I'm going to be doing some lettering styles in like a casual, fun way. Hello, something on paper. Hello, Helen. And, um... Yeah, just a reminder, I'm not a formally trained calligrapher, so I'm not like, like, you know, there's amazing calligraphers and artists out there. I am not one of those. I'm not. No, no, I'm just one of those normal people. Normal writers, drawing-ers. Okay, I'm just going to try and focus on my paper here. So anyway, enough of my rambling. Let's get to the letter C. First thing is... We're going to do the letter C with my pilot parallel. And let's see if I can actually get this one right. Oh, yeah, that actually came up not too bad. I've done worse. I've done better, but I've done worse. Oh, thank you so much. You know, the lettering is a work in progress. And some days uh, I find that I'm better at it than other days, if that makes any sense. And I don't know how that's possible. But um, the main thing is I really enjoy it. Like for me, a relaxing evening is sitting at home with like, you know, my favorite TV show on or something and um, my notebook and like 30 pens. And I just... I just practice lettering. I'll write my favorite quotes down, like my quotes that I'm from the show I'm watching or, um, you know, from a book that I'm reading, stuff like that. And I really enjoy it. And it's just, it's so soothing. And maybe that's weird because like cool people my age are like going out and doing stuff. And I am not. <laughs> I'm just old and weird. Okay, so this was um, old English style. So I'm going to just do it with a smaller nib as well. And it's not bad. This ink is Aurora Blue Black. This is Kobe Taisanji Yellow, in case you're curious. Just in case. Hello, Janine. Oh, so exciting. Thank you guys for joining and joining and joining and joining. Joining and, and you know, participating. Like, talking to me. So I'm not just talking to myself, which is what I'm doing right now. Okay. Um, that's weird. So I have the Old English style here. And the thing is, I've spoken about this before, like I really like the old English style because it looks more complicated than it is. So I find that when I do this style, it makes me look fancier than I actually am. So that's fun. Now, another one I have been working on is more of a flourished style. And uh, you know what? I'm gonna use this smaller nib for this one. This one is, I think, pretty doable for even the newest letterers. So I do a tail, I draw a C, I do another tail, and now I add my own flourishes. So the flourishes I've been playing with is I start in the corner here, and I do something like this, and I just give it a small little nub at the end. Thank you. Steven is not in the room right now, but hopefully he will join, like the, the chat room, but hopefully he will be able to join in a little bit. But if not, I will pass on your birthday wishes to him. Very exciting. So this is my other flourish setup, but this is like so easy. It's so easy. Like this requires actually going through the steps and forming the letters right, but this is just tail, the letter C, tail, and then you just do your own thing. And I love it. I love it. It's just so easy. Okay, that was horrible. But now it no longer looks like a C. But <laughs> you get the idea. Okay. So that's my, like my random uh, flourished C thing. I'm a bob. Thing I'm a bob. Another C that we can do that I have been... Like, I'm not really sure what kind of C this is. I'll just show you. Okay. So this is my Sailor Music Nib. 
and because it's kind of stubby, it gives good line variation. No, that's not right. Forget that. Forget that. Never mind. Ignore that. Okay, so I'm going to make it a little rounder. Now, I was inspired to do this one by a dragon, okay? Because I was, I, I think I was watching, um, like, uh, uh, How to Train Your Dragon, and I thought of Toothless and his little dragon spikes. So I gave the letter C to adorable little dragon spikes. And I do this. So what kind of style this is, I don't even know. But let's say we wanted to do this with the letter H as well, because we've done letter H. So I would do something like this, just in case you're curious, like how this would look. Okay, so we got the H. Then I will put a line there, just, just a random line. Then we can do the E, put a line through it there, give it two tails. And the L, give it two tails. And the thing is, like, the more you explore lettering styles, the more you just, like, create your own thing. And, like, what the heck this is, I have no idea. But it's really fun. And if you're looking for more lettering, you should check out... Uh, Janine Scribble, she's actually in the room somewhere in here. Hi, Janine! You should check out her account because she has fantastic lettering styles. And it's um, it's just so fun. It's just, it's so interesting to see all the things you can do with one nib or two nibs. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's great. It's a great way to use your pens if you don't use them enough already. Why, thank you. Uh, my own alphabet, that would be really cool. Yeah, the Postman's Knock is fantastic. Such a great resource. Okay, now next up I have my uh, Lamy 1.1. So if we were to do like a Gothic style, the Gothic is thin and tall. So that's basically it. <laughs> that's probably too small to see. Let me use a bigger nib. Hello, Annabelle. This is very exciting. Okay, so Gothic, there we go. Easy peasy. So we've already done A and B, so I'll just do, just like as a reminder. Here's, we got an A. Oh, I didn't extend that enough. A, B, C. Easy peasy, anyone can do it. Yes, keep using your pens, exactly. I, in fact, like seriously, last night, I think I inked about 20 pens. So um, you could always like peek at my Instagram story on my Gourmet Pens account and just, I just do like a quick scanning of all the pens I have inked. And people don't, like people are like, how on earth can you write all these pens dry before the ink dries out? But it's because I do stuff like this. Like I just play and practice and I'm just constantly writing. So it's, it's so fun. Like for me, it's not a task to empty a pen. It's just so fun. Okay, so now we have the Pilot Falcon in the Soft Fine. I prefer the Soft Fine because it's like the most, it's the most easy to use. I also have a Soft Extra Fine Needle Point and it's, it's amazing, but you have to be really gentle and delicate with it. So for fast and quick doings, I like to use this one. So if we were to do like a copper plate style, we can just go like this and give it a tail and give it a C. I mean, it's pretty simple. Um, you can also do like a modern calligraphy. You're wondering why, why my grip is really weird. I actually angle the nib um, at a, I'm not sure what angle this is, like like some some sort of degree. So that'd be, I don't know, like 30, 30 degrees? I don't know. Um, because when I bring down the nib and I apply pressure, I want it to be so that the tines are receiving the same amount of pressure. So if we we're gonna do like a C, oh sorry, that was my that was my error. Don't worry, don't don't. Bleh. I lifted the nib off the page. So we can do a C. So that's one way I I do my C. Um, sometimes I just like go like this. Sometimes just like that. Sometimes oh sorry. Sometimes it's just like that. It's kind of oily down here. I probably should be using um a uh, oil guard. Okay, there's like. But like one nib, you could do so many styles with. You can um, you can make this a bit more like faux calligraphy by adding more boldness to your lines. Okay, the 
before I turn the page. So we'll just raise this up and take a look. Like, what's your favorite? What is your favorite style? Is there a style that you are practicing or is there a style that you just like even if you're not practicing it? Like, I just do a couple different ones to show you that there are different options. One of my favorites is the Unchill style. So if we were to do that, we can do something. So it's like a round C and then I give it a tail. It's pretty easy. Swoopy C. Spin oh, Spencerian is tough. Man, that's... That's a hard one. I um, You could probably do like fake Spencerian with a parallel, but no, no, I ignore that. Left bottom corner, was that this one? You're a serial switcher. Yeah, no, it's so much fun though. I mean, that's like, that's half the fun, right? Okay, so we've got a nice C. Um, the unshill and the foundational styles are very close. So the unshill has like more of a tail bit, but the foundational is rounder. So what I try to do for foundational is bring out the back a bit more and then curl the front in a bit more, if that makes any sense. So that would be more, let me see here. This would be more foundational. And then for the unshill, I would do like a half C. It's hard to tell the difference because I am not very good. Um, the gold ink, this is Kobe. This is the number 21. I'll just write it down. Uh, it's Taisanji yellow. Taisanji and yellow. It's lovely. And it's such a gorgeous yellow. Yeah, excellent shading. Uh, really bright. I think it's really, really nice. I really like the Kobe, the Sailor, the Bung Box inks. I think they're all really fabulous. So they're very lovely to play with okay um i have well i mean there's always like a there's always like a just like a regular c like a c that's no fun like honestly come on c be more exciting right you can turn your parallel on the side and have natural line variation like that There we go, I'm using the wrong side there. I actually probably need to, I know I've been using the same inks for a couple weeks now, so I probably need to, yeah, clear these out and refresh them. Noodler's Apache Sunset, lovely. A bit more orange than the Taisanji, but really nice shading on that one. Super nice, okay, what have I not used, okay. And I that's actually pretty much the styles I had noted for myself because I mean the letter C is not it's not I'm not very good at like really showing it off. I mean there's just not a whole lot to it. Uh I do have a 1.1. Not a parallel 1.1, but I do have a Lani Safari 1.1. Unfortunately, I put the um the yellow ink in it, so hopefully it's not too small for you guys to see. You can even do the weird dragon tail style using this nib. Um, you can do the gothic. We could get away with, no, that was a bad one, sorry. We could get away with um, Old English. We have unchill, foundational. How does it differ from the Twisby 1.1? Uh, the the Twisby 1.1 millimeter stub nibs tend to be a tiny bit springier than the Lamy's. The Lamy's are quite firm, so you could apply pressure, but you're, you're not really going to get line variation. You might get a tiny bit more ink flow, but um, I, I wouldn't really recommend applying pressure to the Lamy nibs because if you look at the back sides, the, side, the shoulders of the nib are attached to the feet, and... I always, like, this has never happened, but I always worry that if I apply too much pressure, I'm going to just keep lifting the feed, and at some point, it's just going to break from the stress. But that's just speculation. But overall, I would just generally not bother applying pressure to the Lamy nibs. It's not, it's not really all that pleasant. Um, okay. Let me see. I have not written hello yet, but obviously I will. Hello. Hello. 
Conklin Jur Juraflex. Oh, the Juraflex. Oh, I'm very curious about that one. I have not tried it. But if you guys don't know this about me, I'm a bit crazy for flex nibs. Like, like, like cuckoo for flex nib nibbage. Um, so I always like to check out new flex nibs coming out. Hello. All right. Well... That was probably sufficient rambling for me for the day, right? Totally. Nobody wants to hear me ramble anymore. There we go. Some more learning letters. Hopefully this was sort of useful. If it wasn't useful, hopefully it was at least entertaining. And uh, if you are learning letters on your own accounts, do tag us so we can check out your work. And uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. So we're going to wrap it up. I hope you all have a wonderful, safe, happy, healthy weekend. And we will see you next week. Bye, everyone.